Hey everyone, and welcome to the Dogs of On podcast. Uh, today is episode 78, and I am Brett Endes. I am a professional dog trainer. I'm your host. Uh, the purpose of this podcast is to share my dog training experience to help you if you are a dog owner. Uh, if you are someone who's working with me in the real world, I like to compliment the work that we're doing. And of course, if you're just interested in learning more about your dog or life of a dog trainer, this podcast is for you. Uh, I always ask, please don't forget to rate, review, share, subscribe. Uh, it really helps other people find this. People have given me feedback that the information from this podcast has helped them with their dog. So I'm assuming it would help others as it has in the real world doing this for as long as I have and the feedback from them too. Um, so thank you for anyone who's done it. If you haven't, please do go on iTunes, leave a quick good review, let everyone know how the show helps you, how it's entertained you and whatnot. I really appreciate it. And send in your questions. I love answering your dog training questions. I love knowing I'm helping you. Uh, nowadays, I'm even doing virtual training sessions. So you can contact me at dogtrainingla at gmail.com or you can contact me uh, directly through my website and I can uh, give you more information about how we can do private sessions via uh, Zoom, FaceTime, online, Skype, even telephone. So uh, let me know how I can help you in any way possible. I have some more time on my hand. That's why you're getting more podcasts. So I'm here with Bowie and I, I just thought it would be kind of interesting just to do a little walk and talk here. I'm um, on our property here in Colorado. We're in the mountains here in Conifer. Uh, we have three acres and pretty much wooded, more or less a little hilly, flat, a lot of trees, still a bunch of snow here. And we're just roaming. I've got Bowie off leash. Um, I've got him on a remote collar, a mini educator. And the reason why is, although I've taught him, he'll say, boy, your dog, you're a dog trainer. Your dog shouldn't require any extra tools to listen. Granted, I usually would have him off leash without anything additional, but we're still here maybe three and a half months and we encounter wildlife, deer, there's now bears coming out. You know, we're here at dusk where you're more likely to see them. So I have it on as an insurance policy. Sometimes he'll see a neighbor's horse and this is all new to him. These are not the kind of distractions I was able to proof him when he was young with when he was younger so now we do it with the remote collar it works wonderfully and if anyone's curious i have him on a level six right now some of them even just go to vibrate uh and that's all i need to get a response usually wearing it makes him just listen to his best potential but i have that correction and already we've seen a couple deer you know here since we've been living here in, in the high country and um but we come let's go Good boy. I just repeated two commands. Shouldn't do that. If you're a client, you know that's a no-no. Um, but anyway, so, you know, I just want to just get this to the point where I can trust his response where then I wouldn't require this. But um, in all disclosure, I'm using a remote collar while I walk him. Now, I sometimes give just gestures where if I said, let's go or come, both commands should have been followed through, right? I'm a stickler to the rules and I didn't even do it on a podcast with my own dog. Uh, but the general idea, he listens. Um, if I said, come as official and I demonstrated body language for him to respond to full completion he would do it same as with a heel uh, not excusing it but again i should have said a different command or gesture to get his attention he was just eating snow and i wanted him to keep walking with me and with that said he does walk with me he's just kind of roaming while i talk to you guys so you know if we see something i got to be a step ahead of him but i just know he's gonna really not want to veer off too far from me it's just something like if I turn this way and I start walking to the other direction of the property within eight feet he turns around and he starts trailing me and it's not a heel he's on it's just why would I want to stray from my pack when I was a puppy I never was allowed to do that so why would I start now again it's just something like a new type of distraction we never encountered because as a puppy I did a lot of off leash with him I uh you know, I, I mean, on leash, long line, corrected him when he would, you know, be playing with other dogs, running off into squirrels, other kind of regular city distractions. Um, so he's got that. And we'll get there with the deer as well. Um, sorry, I'm out of breath too, but we're up at 9,000 feet. And I, don't know, I haven't been eating as good as I normally do, exercising like I should. The COVID 19's got us all kind of thrown off. But I'm out here trying to keep getting out there with my dog. As I say, and again, I just figured I'd just kind of shoot the shit with you while I walk here with Mr. Bowie. And for anyone that doesn't know, that's my Rottweiler. So anyone goes on social media, you can scour through, look at him. He's been on my show, The Untrainables. He's a great dog. He's the Rottweiler with the tail. So again, he's off sniffing. He's peeing. Bowie likes to mark a little. He's not neutered. Sometimes that'll happen. But when he sees that I'm straying, he starts scurrying right back and 
Here we go. All right, good boy. Ooh, we see something. Oh, let's see. What do you see, buddy boy? This is the time where you always will see something. I mean, even yesterday, we were just out in our, we're building a aquaponics system in our greenhouse. And I, uh, my girlfriend, Kate, just like, look over there, Brett. This is a whole group of deer just right out there. See, you saw elk, probably like, gosh, 25, 30 elk when we went. We had to go into town to just do some quick errands and uh, saw a bunch of elk, multiple sets of deer. Deer is almost a daily thing, but it's why you live here. It's so great and peaceful. I don't know if you can hear. It's just still other than me and Big Boo here breathing. So it's great. I need it. I'm turning 46 next week, and I've lived a lot of life. And I'll tell you, if I was holed up, you know, in situations I've been in the past and maybe I was struggling more, in the city. I don't know how I'd be faring right now. So thankfully I have this space here for me and the dogs and my family. And it's definitely helpful, you know, to keep the, the mindset, the inner peace. And I just love nature. The dogs love it. That's why I always say, try to get somewhere if you're allowed to, where you live still, uh, take your dog up, go on a hike. It's worth the drive. Probably most of us aren't working. So got time. Everything's about now time to just do the things we never thought we could, even though a lot of things kind of suck right now. Um, but yeah, but that's it. I'm making the best of it myself. I'm trying to get some clients here in Colorado, do board and train, doing virtual training worldwide again. So if anyone's listening to this and you thought maybe it would help to do a session, um, give me, of course, a discount because I can't see in the real world, but they've been helping. And, uh, you know, maybe if you have time, we can do a session, walk you through some things you could teach your dog or address problems you've always wanted to, but never really had the time to commit. Uh, now we can do it. So uh, anyway, we're going to head back to the house here. It's getting pretty dark. So let's figure do a couple laps on the property with you guys. And uh, boo. And uh, thanks again for uh, listening to the podcast. It's kind of mellow one, change of tune. Not driving, not sitting. Walking, stumbling through snow and horse manure from the former owners of the property. <laughs> Uh, again, don't forget, rate, review, subscribe, share, tell everyone, follow me on social media at the Dog Savant. This all helps. And uh, thanks again. Everyone hang in there. Stay safe. And uh, get out there with your dog. Have a good day.